hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this beautiful responsive login sign up form by just using simple html css and bootstrap 5 so first of all here we have our login form we have one image on the left side and on the right side here we have our form first of all one heading welcome back and here we have two input section one for the user for the email and after that here we have one for the password and after that we have one sign up button and after that we have two icons two social media icons one for the facebook and one for the google plus and this website is completely responsive you can see this website on any type of touch screen so okay guys let's get started but before starting with the bootstrap you have to copy the started template from the get bootstrap website here you have to click on the started template you can uh, add this bootstrap separately in your html file so right now we have just uh, copy and paste this uh, started template now here we are removing this unwanted links and unwanted content in this uh, and after that i am going to add our css first of all in our universal tags padding 0 margin 0 and box sizing is border box now i am linking this css file in our html file so here we have two files one for css one for html and one image first of all i am starting with the section the section with the class of login and one container and one row and after uh, that inside this row we are taking one class of five columns in this five columns i am taking this image image tag with the class of image fluid whenever you are using bootstrap you must have to take image fluid class inside the image tag now i am adding some css for the row the background is the white and the border radius will be 30 pixel and box shadow will be 12 pixel 12 pixel and 22 pixel you can add any type of box shadow that you like so this is our uh, output now let me add some um, background property inside this section and g0 uh, means no gutters the gutter inside these two columns will be zero the no gutter class in bootstrap you can use the no gutter class in the bootstrap file with the value of g and after that i am going to add some css for the image the border radius for the top left corner will be 30 pixel you can see the output right here now we are going to add the border bottom left radius that will also be 30 pixel so here you can see the output it's looking very beautiful with the border radius and the box shadow now I am going to add this heading welcome back after these five columns I am going to add seven column class for the large screen first of all heading one welcome back now you can see the output now let me center this uh, heading one with the text center class and adding some padding top and bottom uh, to this column class now i am going to add the animation to this heading i am using animate.css for this animation here you can add any type of uh, animation to this heading but right here i am going to add this heartbeat first of all you have to copy this uh, CSS link and paste it inside your HTML file inside the head tag. You must have to add this link before using animate.css. And now, whenever uh, and now you have to add this animate animated class inside your heading. And after that, you have to copy this heartbeat class. So here you can see this animation. This heading animates just one time. But if you want to animate this uh, many times like infinity, you have to add the class of animate.infinite. So here you can see this heading with the CSS animation. And now I am going to design this heading one. The font size is 4 rem and the font weight will be 700. So here you can see this heading is animating infinitely. And now I am going to add the Google fonts, the font family for this heading one. Here you can select, you can add any type of font family for your content. Here I am using this one. 
if you want to use this you have to click on this uh, link and copy this link and paste it inside your HTML file inside the heading tag and after that you have to copy this CSS property the font family and add inside the h1 class so now you can see the output is animating and uh, the Google font family and after this heading I am going to add our form first of all I am taking form tag and inside this form tag I am taking one form row and inside this row I am taking the class of 10 columns adding one offset column and inside this um, columns I am taking the input section with the type of text and the placeholder is user username you can add email or any type of placeholder that you want and just copy this form row and paste it again just change this type uh, of input with the pin password and change this placeholder and now if you see the output so here you can see the simple output and now I am adding some padding top and bottom to this form row just copy this form row again and paste it after this form row we are going to add a button instead of uh, input section inside this button tag I am taking one class of btn1 so we will design this btn1 class inside our CSS file and now I am going to add um, one class for the input section the in class because we want to design these input sections in our CSS first of all the height the height will be 50 pixel and the width will be 70 percent and the border will be none the outline will also be none and the border radius will be 60 pixel and now if you see the output so here you can see the output I'm going to add the box shadow for this input sections right here in the Google you have to search the box shadow generator click on this link from here you can add any type of box shadow for your box for your input section for your content you can set the box shadow by yourself after setting the box shadow you have to copy this content and paste it inside this INP class so now if we see the output so here you can see this input sections with the box shadow now it is visible now they are visible now let me just add some padding top and bottom some margin between these input sections so now you can see the output it is looking very beautiful and after these input sections I am going to design our button with the class of btn1 just paste this class inside our CSS and start designing this button the height will be 50 pixel and the width is 50 percent the border will be none and the outline will also be none you have to add some border radius that will be 60 pixel and the font weight will be 600 the background color you have to add the brown or whatever you want so now if you see the output so here you can see the output with the black color now let me just add uh, the text color the text color will be white and now you can see the output the button and after this button I am going to add the hover effect on this button whenever we hover on this button it changes background color in the specific time so here you can see now let me add the transition the time in which the background color will be changed you can see this smooth effect on this uh, button and now I am going to add this uh, small paragraph and these social media icons after this button just take one uh, tag of B and inside these spam tags I am using our social media icons I am adding this social media icons of Facebook and Google Plus you can get these icons from the phone to awesome website in the phone to awesome website you can get any type of icon for the social media or any type of icon from the phone to awesome website 
whenever you are using this phone person website you have to sign in and they will uh, send a notification and they will send you a kit in the form of link you must have to add that uh, link in your HTML file before using these icons now just uh, take these icons for the Facebook and for the Google Plus So you can see the output the icons are not visible because we have to add our link the font awesome link and now if you see the output so here you can see the Facebook icon the Google Plus uh, spelling is wrong and now if you refresh it again you can see the Google Plus icon and now we are going to design these icons in our CSS file first of all the Facebook we have to add some font size for these icons 2.5 rem and the color will be blue the facebook color and now we are going to design these google plus icons the same property just change the background color for this google plus icon and now whenever we hover on these icons it create the pointer effect whenever we the cursor on these icons it shows us the pointer so here you can see the output it's looking very beautiful and guys if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and like this video for more web designing videos you can visit my youtube channel